There are three main signs that scream a trend is over. And as I'm sure you can imagine, knowing these three signs can drastically improve your trading. It can help you take better targets and even help you place profitable reversal trades. So in this video, I'll be showing you these three signs along with showing you how I combine them into a full reversal trading strategy that I've used to pull profits out of the market, just like the trade you see on the screen right now on the dollar Canada. And this way you will walk away from this video, not only knowing the three signs that tell you when a trend is over, but also knowing how to utilize these three signs in order to take better targets and even place profitable reversal trades. So if that sounds good, go ahead and click that like button for me, go ahead and subscribe if you are new and I'll see you after the intro and disclaimer. Welcome back. And if you're new, my name is Steven. I've been trading for about a decade. And on this channel, I try to share all the tips, tricks, and strategies I've learned in my own decade of trading experience in order to help you speed up your journey to profitable trading. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. The first thing I'm going to do is break down how I personally use the three signs that a trend is over in order to maximize the amount of profit I can get on a trade. So I use these three signs to determine the actual target I have on a specific trade. Let's take a look at how I do that by discussing sign number one, that a trend is over. To give you a better idea of all this, I'm gonna play out a little scenario with you. Let's say I decided to go long to buy right here. And the reason is, let's say there's this level of structure looking left, we're already trending to the upside. So I say, cool, I'm gonna buy right there. I'm gonna put a stop loss right down here below this level of structure or the swing low. And for targets, Here's where I'm gonna utilize the three signs that a trending market is over. I can see that we're in an uptrend here on the four hour chart. With that being the case, sign number one, that this uptrend could end is going to be a major level of structure on a higher time frame. So keep that in mind. The first sign of a trend being over is a major level of structure on a higher time frame. For me, I'll zoom up here to the top left. If I'm trading on the four hour, which I am now, my higher time frame is going to be the daily. And all we do is go down from here. If I'm trading on the one hour, my higher time frame is the four hour. If I'm trading 15 minute, my higher time frame is the one hour. And if I place the trade on the five minute, my higher time frame is going to be the 15 minute. This is where I'm going to look for that strong level of structure that shows me the trend could likely end at that level. So in this case, we're on the four hour. That's where I placed my trade, right? Now I'm going to go to the daily chart and I'm going to ask myself in this uptrend that we're in right now, what is the next level of resistance price could possibly hit? It's pretty easy to see in this case, this is the next level of resistance price is going to hit. So let me explain this a little more with a little drawing here on the whiteboard. If we were trending down, what I'm talking about, whenever I say the next level price is going to hit, is the actual resistance level. I'm not talking about the previous support or this previous support, or if there's a level right here or anything like that. I mean, literally the next level of resistance that price is going to hit. And in this case, that level is right here. Now that's one of the conditions for me spotting a major level of structure on a higher time frame. The other condition is it must have been tested multiple times. So as long as this level is the next level of resistance price is going to hit and has been tested multiple times, then I'm going to draw out a zone at this level. And I do this as soon as I place my trade. So after I place my trade, I do this in order to maximize the amount of profit I'm going to be able to take on this trade. I'm going to go ahead and point out my major level of structure on the higher time frame, which in this case is right here. And at this point, what I'm going to be waiting for, is price to continue up. Now, one of the ways I like to do this is have a 1.4 to 1 target as my first target or wait for price to get to that 1.4 to 1 and move my stop loss up to break even. And at that point, I just manage the position by putting a stop loss below the previous swing lows until I get to my major level of structure. Now, as I said, the major level of structure is the first sign of a trend being over, let's talk about sign number two. For sign number two that a trend could be ending, we're gonna have to plot the RSI indicator onto the chart. You can find that indicator by going up here to indicators on the trading view tab and typing in relative strength index where it says search. On this indicator, what we wanna see 
on our higher time frame. So remember, I placed this trade on the four hour. Now I'm looking at the daily chart again, and I want to see that price, as it's coming to my zone that I've just drawn out, goes overbought, or an even more accurate situation is that it has RSI divergence. Now, overbought is just when the RSI indicator is showing above this red line, which is at 70. So if we have the RSI indicator going above 70, we have an overbought condition, which is another sign that the trend on the lower time frame is over. But what gives us an even more accurate situation and an even more accurate prediction that that trend on the lower time frame is over is when we have something called divergence on this RSI indicator. Divergence is when the RSI indicator is making consistent lower highs while price is making consistent higher highs. We call this divergence and it can be a great sign of a reversal or in other words, a great sign that the trend on the lower time frame is actually over. So that's sign number two that the trend is over. So if I was inside of this trade down on the four hour chart that I placed as a long trade and prices started to come into my zone and price went overbought on my lower time frame, now I can look for sign number three that a trend is completely over. And that is either a candlestick pattern or a chart pattern. So to be clear, sign number one is a major level of structure on a higher time frame. Sign number two, that a trend is probably over, is going to be the RSI indicator on that higher time frame going overbought or even having divergence. Sign number three is what we're gonna discuss right now. And that is either a candlestick pattern or a chart pattern inside of this zone. So if I had went long down here, my plan to get out of this trade would have been to move that stop loss to break even at about a 1.4 to 1 reward to risk ratio, and then wait for this exact scenario as price gets to the next major daily level of structure, puts in an overbought situation and even divergence on the daily time frame that we just looked at, and then here we get this nice double top pattern. So this double top would be my sign to get out of this long trade because all three signs of the trend being over have now taken place. So as a final recap, if I place this trade as a trend continuation trade on the four hour chart based on prices making higher highs, pulling back and then placing the trade immediately after that, I would be looking for the three signs that the trend is over in order to maximize the amount of profit I could make on this trade. Those three signs are a daily level of major structure, followed by the RSI going overbought on the daily chart or having divergence on the daily chart. After that, I'm gonna drop back down to the four hour chart, which is the chart I placed the trade on. And in this area, I'm gonna look for a candlestick pattern or a chart pattern like this double top. Those are the three signs that the trend is very likely over and I need to get out of the market and take my profit on this specific trade. Now for a bearish trade, I'm not gonna go over that because this is pretty simple and those would be exactly the opposite. We'd be looking for a level of support instead of resistance. We'd be looking for the RSI instead of going over bought to go over sold or have divergence. And instead of a double top or a candlestick pattern that was bearish, we'd be looking for a double bottom or a bullish candlestick pattern if we were going short and looking to take targets off of a short trade, utilizing the three signs that a trending market is over and done trending. So that is how I utilize this method in order to maximize the amount of profit I can make on a particular trade. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, I also use this same methodology in order to place trades that are reversal trades as well. And right now what I wanna do is break down that entire rules-based strategy so you'll have it before the end of the video. Let's go ahead and get started with the acronym that I use whenever creating strategies, which is CEST. It is C-E-S-T. And what this stands for is conditions, an entry reason, my stop, and my target. I need a rule for each of these in order to create a rules-based strategy that I can stay consistent to. So this reversal strategy you're gonna learn right now is no different and has CEST as the foundation of the entire strategy. So let's take a look at condition number one for this strategy. For the first condition of this strategy, and by the way, this is the same exact strategy I used to get in the trade you see on the screen 
on the dollar Canada. But now let's break away and get right back to the first condition of this strategy. This strategy should be very simple to explain considering we're using the same three signs of a trend being over in order to capture reversals. So obviously what was our first sign? We're gonna be looking for a higher time frame. In my case, it's the daily chart. So I'm trading on the four hour. I'm gonna be looking for a higher time frame level of structure that's been hit and tested multiple times. In this case, we have a level of structure that's been tested recently three times on the dollar Canada. If you'll notice, this is exactly where we took profits off on our hypothetical long trade earlier in the video. But here we have that level of structure. Now, what was the second sign that a trending market is done trending? We had to plot the RSI indicator on the chart in order to see that. And that would be an overbought situation, which is above 70. Here we have overbought. And obviously you've already seen this, but in this case, we actually had divergence, which equals an even higher accuracy for this trading opportunity with this RSI divergence coming into play on the higher time frame. So our higher time frame has a major level of structure. When coming to this major level of structure, we not only have the RSI overbought, but also have divergence in this case. What's the other sign that a trending market is over? We've been trending up. We're going to drop down now to the four hour chart. And as you can see on this four hour chart, we have a double top. So as I mentioned just a second ago, this strategy consists of C E S T conditions, entry, stop and target for the conditions of this strategy. Feel free to write this down because this is the exact rule set I used to pull a major amount of profit out of the dollar Canada earlier this week. And I've used this exact reversal strategy for over eight years and it's been profitable every single year for me throughout that eight year span. So the conditions, what you do need to write down are going to be priced at a major level of higher time frame structure, exactly how I've described in this video. Condition number two is RSI either overbought or having divergence on that higher time frame for a bearish trade. Condition number three for me when placing a trade using this reversal strategy is a chart pattern. I need to see price create a double top in this area after completing the other conditions. These are all three of the conditions. My actual entry reason is going to be selling pressure. And in this case, selling pressure came with this big red engulfing candle you can see right here. So in this case, my C and my E are now complete. The next thing I have to do is find a place I'm going to place my stop loss and find a place I'm going to use for my target. Now, you already know how I use structure and how I use these three signs of trend being over in order to place my target. I already explained that. So for a stop loss in this case, what I'm going to be doing is just placing my stop loss above the double top by one times the ATR indicator. The ATR indicator can be found in the same way that we looked for the relative strength index. You just go to the search bar of the indicators and type in ATR. It'll be average true range right here. This indicator gives you the average of the last 14 candles. So all it really does is keeps you in line with the volatility of the current market. So with the volatility of the current market, our ATR is around 30 pips. So I would take my stop loss and go 30 pips above this high. So up to this high is about 42 pips. I'd need to go about 72 pips for this stop loss, which is exactly what I did for this dollar Canada trade. And what was my next step for taking targets? What am I going to do? Well, for taking targets, I'm looking down at the next level of support and I'm going to ask myself, is it a major level? Has it been tested multiple times? After I do that, I know that this is going to be an area where I look for targets. And especially if I get to this area and I see price go oversold. So now what I've done is created a full rules based strategy using conditions, an entry, a stop loss and a specific area for a target. Now I've created a full strategy based around the three signs that a trending market is likely to end. I've created this full reversal strategy. And again, this is a strategy I've used for over eight years now. Let me recap one more time the conditions, higher time frame, major level of structure, followed by higher time frame overbought, followed by the trading time frame having a double top. 
the entry after that is selling pressure, which in this case was this engulfing candle. The stop loss is one times the ATR indicator above the highest high of our double top. And the target is exactly how I explained that I'd take targets earlier in the video. So we actually ended up exiting this trade for right around a two to one reward to risk ratio. I'll go ahead and hit play so you can see that. And we'll go ahead to where price is right now. In terms of targets, as you can see, as we got down to this area of major structure, we also ended up being oversold on the RSI indicator, which caused me to go ahead and take targets off. Now, something else I want you to realize in this video is not only the three signs of a trending market being over or this exact strategy or how to take targets in a more logical way that can give you a higher profit on a specific trade, but also I want you to understand and realize how rules based my trading is when trying to figure out what strategies i want to trade i always put them in the c e s t bubble because i need them to be rules based enough for me to follow a lot of the problem with a ton of traders is that they're trying to trade strategies that are inconsistent so therefore trying to become consistently profitable with an inconsistent strategy is a it's just a recipe for failure and you're never going to be able to do that so the better idea is to create a consistent set of rules that gives you a statistic advantage using something like CEST and then exploiting that advantage as much as you possibly can in the markets. And obviously for a bullish trade example, everything would be the same except flip it upside down. It'd be a double bottom. It would be a level of support. It would be RSI oversold instead of overbought. Hopefully you can kind of imagine that and get a grasp on it. I don't want to go through a ton of examples of bullish trades because that would make this video closer to 30 minutes instead of the 20 minute mark I'm trying to hit. But if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe. If you want a full free beginner's course, then go to the link you see on the screen or the top link in the description to get that. It comes with everything you need as a beginner into the Forex market, along with some of the strategies I've seen be profitable for me, along with training on trading psychology and risk management. And if you want a more mentorship style course and you're ready to invest in yourself and invest in your trading education, we also have some space available in the TTC Forex University. I'm not sure how long that space will last, but feel free to check that out as well. It'll be the top link in the description. And again, it's a full mentorship course that comes with a full university, along with me personally answering any questions you have, along with email analysis of trades, just like the Dollar Canada trade that I sent out to all the members of the TTC Forex University last week. And it also comes with the Pro Trader Report, which is me pointing out all of the key levels and major levels of structure I'm looking at in the market for the next week. So again, if that sounds interesting, go ahead and click the top link in the description or go to www.ttc4xuniversity.com. If not, that's completely fine too. Be sure you're subscribed here. I wish you the best of luck in all your future trades and I'll talk to you in the next video. See you soon.